Greetings, unsettled souls. Uh, go! Go! I remembered my theme song today. How many people tuned in yesterday and realized uh, he forgot his theme song? How did that happen? Um, again, I'm doing 12, 12 days of Christmas. If I look like I'm tired, I am. I was just telling Facebook people that I've been up about 24 hours. Just found out that I picked up another DJing job at Buzzbin in Canton, and I've been readying my computer and getting all of that ready. But I promised you the 12 days of Christmas, and the 12 days of Christmas you are going to get. Um, we covered an email I got that touched a lot of people. Talked about how we as a country are going in the wrong direction in the way that we're treating each other, particularly in relationships and marriages and just friendships, families, and something is wrong in this country. And uh, we had an email about that. We talked about the banning of the Christmas song. Then I told you the best used computer to buy. And I promised you, after a non-political post, that we were going to talk about something that was sure to make fur fly, and that's what's going to happen now. Uh, you might have noticed the uh, name of this particular show is uh, Flynn Fucht for Christmas. I have to say it that way because it gets shared in PC, PC channels. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean, uh, even if you detest Donald Trump, you have to listen to this for a minute. And this is all verified. All you have to do is read uh, Comey's reports and his statements that have come out within the last week. When Donald Trump was newly elected, James Comey, for political purposes, bragged about the fact that a lot of the people in the Trump administration were not going to be aware that the FBI doesn't just visit the White House and that there should be attorneys around. Well, you may ask, if Flynn was telling the truth, even if the FBI shouldn't be there, if he was telling the truth, what does he have to worry about? That's not the way the FBI works. Let me explain to you the way the FBI works. Um, I don't know how many of you know who the band Green Jello is. I'm sure most of you do. The Three Little Pigs song. All right. I've been lucky enough to be a member of that band. There's many members of that band. And when they tour in different areas, they bring people with them. So if somebody talks to me about that, I have said before, I've played with Green Jello a few times. In reality, I've played with Green Jello twice, which isn't a few times. I played with them when my band opened for them at the Agora. And then I played on stage with them twice. So sometimes I'll just say I, I've played with them a few times. If you're just BSing, that doesn't matter at all. Stay with the analogy here. But if an FBI agent was asking me that, and I was to say that, they could use that as proof that Sam has a history of lying. Therefore, everything he says can be called into question. And no matter what we find, we can at least bust him for that because he lied to an FBI agent. Now, because the FBI works that way, they have to notify you when they are talking to you. So Flynn's just walking around. He wasn't notified that this was a, um, an interrogation. He wasn't notified that he was being investigated or any of that. So he's just happy, enjoying his new job, walking around the White House, and foolishly talked to the FBI and said a number of things that were not any more lies than the green jello analogy I just gave you. He was speaking, you know, flippantly because he was just talking to them. They used that information to say that he was lying. Now, none of the things that he lied about, using their words, none of the things that he lied about had anything to do with collusion with Trump and Russia. None whatsoever. Rand Paul had a really good quote. He said, uh, the only thing we know so far is that President Trump wanted to build a hotel in Russia. And I'm just trying to figure out through all of this how building a hotel is illegal. People do it every day. I really love Rand Paul. I really do. But he, here's my point. Here's what we're getting as a Christmas gift here for our fifth day of Christmas. Here's what we're getting as a gift from the government. And it starts with an F. The FBI can now 
totally obliterate, obliterate the Fourth Amendment with a war, a decorated war hero, Michael Flynn, as it relates to the President of the United States. Now, again, even if you hate Trump, stay with me. If they can do that to Michael Flynn, what do you think they can do to you, Joe Blow Average? Mr. Lonely Nobody sitting in your house every day, what can they do to you? Never thought about that, did you? That's why you tune in, that's why you subscribe, that's why you hit like and share, and that's why you donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Every penny that you give to me, I put towards a better show, friends. Thank you, good night, God bless, and I hope you've been enjoying your 12 days of Christmas. Let me know which one you like best so far. Shutting these down, and it won't be in any particular order. <laughs>